the final level of virtual training, we'll, we will use a demo from one of our OEM partners, Bertizzi, in France. Project owner James Markey shows us how the training simulation is broken down into stages so that students can understand the course in bite-sized chunks and progress through the curriculum at his or her own pace. To illustrate the levels of learning, James starts the curriculum by educating the surgeons on using the haptic with simple drill simulations. So here in this simulation, each key has a physical property assigned to them, uh, simulating the real-life differences between the cementum, dentine, or the enamel of a human tooth. So you have C, D, and E. In this exercise, dentists are learning how to use the haptic by tracing the letters on the key with the virtual drill while drilling down into the different material properties of the human tooth. This is critical to understand because plastic mannequins do not have the internal anatomy that's, re that's found within humans. And through VR coupled with haptics, dentists are exposed to these differences very early on in their education. From here, they can progress to a more advanced stage of drilling a tooth for a post and crown procedure. As James performs this demo, you can see the drill is carving down into the C key, and he can feel this through the haptic and see on screen that he is unable to accurately trace over the C with the drill. Through this visual and tactile feedback, he knows he needs to change the drill bit to a smaller bit. As he moves over the D key, using the smaller drill that he is more successful in tracing the letter. When he moves to the E key, he now understands he needs a more precise tool than before to accurately trace the letter. In VR, he is able to test his theory by tracing the letter using the haptic but not running the drill. After switching the drill bit, he successfully carves out the letter E using the haptic simulator. Again, each key has the appropriate density and texture applied to it requiring the user to adjust their pressure, pressure sensitivity as one would feel on a real human tooth. Using VR training, Vertizi then moves the student to a real life post and crown simulation within the Vertizi curriculum. This is Vertizi's level three in haptic VR simulation. Virtual training allows companies like Vertizi to provide contextual information to the student prior to a hands-on training simulator. Proper instructions are given to the student and are easily accessible at any time throughout the simulation. Another huge advantage of VR training is the variety of tools needed to complete the task. Many times these tools are absent from the mannequin training and certainly information around each tool is absent as well. Again, through haptic simulation, students can truly feel the tooth and material they are drilling into very early in their education. Lastly, through guided VR instruction using our haptics, users can receive accurate real-time feedback over and over until they have perfected their skill and are ready for a real life patient. At the end of the day, operating on human beings is the ultimate goal. Without this virtual experience using a 3D systems haptic device, students do not receive an in-depth real-time feedback on their progress with an acute understanding on how to perfect their surgical skill. If you would like more information on Vertizi or virtual simulation, please visit www.vertizi.com. If you would like more information on our full product line of 3D haptics or on our Open Haptics SDK or possible simulations with 3D haptics, please visit 3dsystems.com and navigate to the software haptics section on the website. Again, thank you everyone and stay safe.